teach you how to view the responses of your Google form. So after you've shared the form with your recipients and they filled it out, you'll notice a tab at the top that says responses with the number of people that responded to your form. When you go ahead and click on that, you'll notice three tabs at the top. There's the summary tab that gives you a summary of the form in its entirety or question and we'll go question by question by question or individual that will be each individual recipient's responses i'm going to show you all of them we're going to start with summary so the first two questions are because this was a quiz if your form was a survey which is what it is by default you will not have these um, insights so the insights shows you the average points the median points and the range and it shows you a nice little graph the next one shows you frequently missed questions which means less than 50 percent of a correct response rate again if this was just a survey you would not have either of these two i'm going to scroll down so you don't see their names and here it goes question by question giving you a summary of how many people chose the correct answer or, or what, if this wasn't a quiz, just that, that answer. Here, it would show you what they wrote and you could see that some of them just spelled the words a bit different. And here you could see how many people answered each option. And you get a nice little graphs and charts. Some of them are charts, depends on the question type, for each question. And this is the summary. I'm going to scroll all the way up and we're going to go to question. You can choose the person's name. And from here, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that because I don't want you to see anyone's name. I'm sorry. Let me go question. I don't want you to see their name. I'm going to choose a question and I'm going to say, what is the fastest bird on foot? And if I scroll down here, it will tell you, that I got seven um, responses for this one, seven responses for this one. Again, they're just spelled a bit differently. One is a capital and one is a lowercase. And you could see how many responses I got for which, if I clicked on it, it would tell me who wrote that. I'm not gonna do that because I wouldn't wanna give away their identifiable information. And you could go question by question. Um, this one's a bit easier because it was a multiple choice, not a short answer so I can see 18 responses chose the correct one if I clicked on that I would see who chose the correct answer who chose this incorrect answer again if this was not a quiz it wouldn't be correct or incorrect it would just be option a option b option c and it wouldn't have correct or incorrect and if you clicked on the responses you could see who chose which response individual would allow you to see that person's answers. I'm not going to do that because that would give away their answers. I'm not going to do that on this video, but it, you can shoot, you can go response by response by response and view every single recipient's responses. And it would kind of look like the way they would have filled it out on paper. And if you were doing something like an IEP for a student, you could print out hopefully just a PDF and not using real paper, but maybe you need the real paper. You could print out that response and bring it to a meeting if needed. Um, a more advanced thing is you could click on here and view all of your responses in a spreadsheet. So if you do know about spreadsheets and manipulating data, you could do that. But most of the time, if we don't, I personally don't know much about spreadsheets. Maybe if you're a math teacher, um, you would use this a little more or, or if you're analyzing data, but most of the graphs and charts are here for you and you can use any of these graphs or charts as well. And that's how you view your responses of a Google form.